Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Evie Mayolo, a Thermomix consultant, and today I'm going to share with you my top five tips when it comes to your spatula. Now my first tip, if you've ever found a cut or a nick on your spatula and you've wondered how it got there, so a nick would look something like this, where your spatula has slightly cut and split. The reason for that is potentially that you've gone anti-clockwise in your box. So to demonstrate, your blade in the bowl has a sharp edge on this side and a blunt edge on this side. When you're using your spatula, it's important to always go clockwise as you would when you're stirring a pot on the stove. By going clockwise, what you're doing is you are actually going against the blunt side of your blade and there's no risk that you're going to cut or nick your spatula. If you go anti-clockwise, what happens is your spatula will come into contact with the sharp edge of the blade, which is super sharp, and that's how these little nicks can result. So number one tip is always to go clockwise with your spatula. My second tip is how to use the sides of your spatula to get the most effective use from it. This side of your spatula is designed to fit flush with the outer side of the bowl so that you can get everything out in a smooth and easy. The opposite mm -hmm. side of your spatula, this side, is designed to fit in between your blades so that when you're using this side, you are fitting in between those blades to be able to get any residual pieces in or out of the thermomix. Now, to demonstrate this, I'll probably need to take my blade out so that I can show you exactly how this side of the spatula fits in between your blades like so. So you can get everything out. Now, if you have made something really sticky and it's all stuck in under the blade, it's easy to get that out using a different method. So what I would do is pop your bowl back on your thermomix, flick it into your turbo mode, and then simply turbo for one second, which will flick all the ingredients out from underneath your blade to the sides of the bowl, where you can then use the um, long edge of your spatula to get those ingredients out. So that's my tip number two. My third tip is to do with the hook of your spatula. The hook of your spatula is designed to hook into your skimmer basket so that you can get it out easily without getting your fingers dirty. However, it does have another purpose. Let's have a look. So when we take our lid off, I've got my uh, skimmer basket already in the bowl. We use the hook to simply hook it and lift the basket. Now to show you that, close. This is where you are hooking your spatula. You'll notice that it is slightly rounded so the action is to put the spatula in so that it, the hook is positioned where the hole is and then with a slight upward and circular motion towards you hook your spatula. Now there is another nifty feature here. On your bowl there's a small indentation right where the top of the handle is. You can actually fit your guard on that and let the simmer basket rest so that you can drain or strain anything and walk away while it's draining into the bowl if it's something that you're wanting to collect. Let's say, for example, you've made some butter and you want to strain the butter but keep the buttermilk. So that's number three about the hook. My fourth tip is about the guard of your spatula. So your spatula has this guard, which is very handy. The first thing it does is when you put your spatula down on your bench, it actually means that your spatula is not touching your bench, which keeps your bench nice and clean and prevents any cross-contamination. The other purpose of this guard is that it fits through the hole in your lid, like so, and it allows you to be stirring or moving the food around in the bowl without being able to actually touch the blade. So when your blade is turning, this is the only thing that you should use if you're wanting to stir your food. 
as you can see, with the guard, the spatula only comes down to there in your bowl, which is above where the blade starts. So the guard is very handy and multi-purpose as well. My last tip when it comes to your thermomix spatula is to never actually use it to bang on the top of your bowl. If you have food left on your spatula after doing some stirring, my tip is to wipe it. It's flat so it will wipe very nicely on the side of your bowl or gently bang inside against the side of your bowl to flick the food off. The reason why you don't want to be banging on the top of your bowl with a hard downward motion is twofold. Firstly, this forms the seal of your lid. So you don't want to cause any stress or damage to this part of your bowl. Secondly, this hard downward motion is going to impact your scales, which are in the feet of the thermomix. So wipe or gently tap inside your bowl. Thanks for watching. Those are my top five tips for getting the best use out of your thermomix spatula.